blind man see. And cut. This video has been removed due to copyright infringement. <laughs> Yeah, we just we kidding. Busted. Welcome everybody to another Battle of the Games review video. Take two gameplay, uh, whatever video. <laughs> right uh, today we have Wingspan, which is my number four. Don't worry, you didn't what miss the other doing? fives. We're doing this a little bit out of order. Birds? We're just gonna play them as we can fit them in. Um, but to talk about Wingspan for a little bit, it's a game about birds. If you can't tell. There's some really cool birds on the front and all of the That's cards. what it is. It's oh, that's what it is. Anyways, in the game, you're essentially trying to fill up your three habitats with different birds that will give you access to different abilities that let you collect points through laying <laughs> eggs, caching food, and if you're a predator, birds, they can hunt and get some stuff. Um, you, also you also have round by round goals that you're fighting for. Um, I don't really know what else to say. Yeah. <laughs> It's an engine builder. It engine is an engine builder. builder. All the cards build off each other. The further you go in the game, the less actions you get, but you're doing more per action. So. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I guess... You want to rate? I will go last for my... for you. We rate our own game last. Um, yeah. So Me first? Go ahead and rate it first. I would give Wingspan probably a seven. Let's go! Better than Viticulture. <laughs> 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 probably a That's seven. That's a low bar. Probably a you seven. Had to jump over. That's true. Yeah. Just walk right over it. Yeah, seriously. Okay, next. Do you have a... Do Minus you have, seven. Do you, well, let me get a quick... Uh, you like it? Like, like it? What's a seven for you? I like it. It's one that... It's fine. Yeah. I wouldn't uh, add it like I would Viticulture, but I definitely... I don't know if I would pick it either. Yeah. If I'd be like, oh, no, I want to play this right now. But you're right fine now. playing it. But I enjoy playing it. The, like, I could talk a little bit a little bit more about it, about like... I just feel very in my own space whenever we play Wingspan. And that's not something that I really enjoy with games. That's a dang I, lie. You hate being messed with. But I like when we're like interacting and talking. And I just feel like it has that little bit of thinkiness on your turn where you're not really talking to anybody else. That's true, yeah. Um, you're just looking at your cards, trying to figure out what you want to do. And it's not like a, I don't know, a conversation. Um, so that's not bad it also is just not like what i would be like yeah i want to play that right now nice Dwayne. man uh eight i really like it it's one of my earliest games um animals so i mean i'm i'm giving it biasy points i'm not Wait, gonna lie there are you an animal guy uh a little bit <laughs> just kind of he's an animal um <laughs> but i do also genuinely like the game too um it's it's very relaxing um like you said it does have that kind of thing where you're kind of just doing your own thing mm -hmm. unless you have like the pink birds or the uh i the think predator birds. that that expansion yeah. was the way to get it to be a little bit more of an interactive game but mm -hmm. it really just uh very good looking game too um mm -hmm. and yeah there's no there's also like it 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 comes, it comes, it comes, it's full arc, comes to an end. <laughs> There's no like, somebody's going to cut the game off at some point. Yeah. Um, yeah. I kind of like just There's having, turns. knowing, knowing when it's about to end. So I need to kind of start wrapping up whatever I'm doing. Nobody can really mess with you in this game. Yeah. They can't take away turns you were thinking that you had. Mm -hmm. Nice. All right, Kev. I think I'm at an eight, maybe an 8.5 as well. Um, I leave it a little bit open because I haven't explored all of the content that's available for it. Um, I haven't, uh, touched Asia. Uh, I've only played the Oceania stuff when we played. Um, so first time I'm actually seeing the nectar in play. Um, yeah, it is definitely a kind of multiplayer solitaire in a lot of ways. Um, I know I'll, sometimes that's very comforting. Sometimes it's nice to be able to just worry about mm -hmm. what's on your board and not really have to worry about like hate drafting cards from other players, um, competing for spaces and stuff like that. Like the only competitive space is maybe the, the, the well, not necessarily. I mean, you can kind of focus on trying to uh, beat people out on the bonuses, but um, I generally find that not to be rewarding for like points. 
Um, because if you're going to totally mess up your own engine in order to gain a couple bonus points, um, you're going to screw yourself over in the long run, I think. Um, but no, it's actually like choosing the die out of the, uh, the feeder. I think it's one of the more competitive spots or maybe oh. potentially like what birds are out there. But I think that the, the, the one time I'm always looking at like what else might people want from there. That's the one time I'm doing that. It's like what, like considering other players. So, um, I do enjoy it though. Cause for me, it's a good, um, kind of like next step from, from the introduction to board games for people. Yep. Um, it's got a little bit of additional complexity. Um, so, yeah. It is a 9 out of 10 for me. Uh, it is one of my top games. Obviously, not my number four. You know, it honestly kind of changes day to day depending on what I'm really feeling because I'm honestly lately feeling Arv Nova. It's fighting. But regardless, um, the beautiful art of the game, the theme of it, the application of that theme throughout the game far outweigh the fact that I don't really like engine builders. I don't really like solid multiplayer solitaire all that much. Um, there's just something about this one that is the exception. I love playing. I love seeing all the birds. I, I honestly don't even care about winning this game. I just like seeing the different birds reading the facts. And then um, I like the birds that do stuff like mm -hmm. the tucking, the predators, caching, stuff like that. I'm trying to get those chains going and then maybe i win cash makes it even better. Ca yeah i was about caching <laughs> caching caching i've been corrected yeah so many times about that i still can't it's, it's in your brain yeah yeah um but yeah that is one thing that i didn't mention is this game is just beautiful that's the one thing that like can really push it over for some people is how beautiful it is yeah. mm. you just are just and i'm definitely one of those people flabbergasted while you're playing it even when we when i uh was first hunting for the base game they did their run, oh, that's sold true. out. I was freaking out because I was like, this game is beautiful. Please, when is it coming out again? And, and birds. I remember I You're made Reddit guy. posts years ago. And I might I might put that up on screen so you can see me freaking out <laughs> six years ago about where this game you know is. But yeah, I love it. The, and I can't uh, wait for Wormspan. Yeah, the um, I had recently had an opportunity to play this with my brother and, and his wife uh, over Christmas. And uh, we played, they have just the base set. And I don't know if I've ever actually just played the base set. Yeah. Um, I think I've always at least had the European expansion as a part of it because I didn't get it when it originally came out. Um, and it was kind of shocking how simplistic it was. Like mm -hmm. most of the birds, like there's only like, I mean, there's a good number of different like you know, uh, powers, but it's pretty limited, all things considered. Yeah, they're pretty simple. So if you're out there and you're thinking about it, if you <laughs> if you played the game and you're like, hey, you know, one or two plays in, you're like, I'm seeing a lot of the same actions, even if they're different birds, just go get one of the expansions. Um, European expansion just integrates right into it seamlessly. So you get a lot of different um, different powers. So well, Actually, if it's just, if you're just looking at like two player games, if you're mostly just you and one other person and you want to play Wingspan, just get Asia. Asia has everything you need to play Wingspan, but it also comes with the duet mode that is specific for two players. And that mm. actually, because... Changes the strategy of the game a it, bit. it does change strategy and it just, it makes it like full circle game. And the duet mode is actually a lot of fun to play. It adds different things that you don't get with base wingspan. You do feel more competitive with the mm -hmm. other player turn by turn yes. and not just, oh, they're end of the you round. You have to is actually pay up. attention to what someone else is doing. Yeah. So I definitely recommend just picking up Asia. Don't even get the base game, just get Asia. I if, honestly. If, it, if you're mostly two players, doesn't that add, isn't it six and seven player expansion too? Yeah, the flock mode. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which we haven't played, but we, I imagine I don't think it's we'll not. Have I don't to. think I'd want to. Yeah. The, um, poop oh i was gonna say the base set the, the abilities do do kind of get samey i did not care when <laughs> i got this game i was just so into the art and the and even when they were like oh it's the same ability slight variance in ability discard a card for one egg versus discard two cards for three eggs whatever right different it's a bigger bird it's a predator it can go in different habitat whatever um it did not affect me at all like the the limited amount of abilities and stuff like that because so, people were like now are like oh, I would never play without the expansions, you know. And I'm like I never, I because I also grew with the game. I started with the base set, played the expansion, blah blah. blah. 
we started with the base set. The European expansion came out like almost as soon as we got it. With the new run? But yeah. we didn't play with the European immediately. Yes, we did. No, because we were like... It was one? like the second or third play. Yeah, but I'm just saying we have played with the base set before. And I guess that's true. I didn't have to play over and over yeah. again with the base set. <laughs> hey, bud. <laughs> we have a visitor dog. Making an appearance. Um, but I, that's pretty much all I have to say about Wingspan. It's my number four of this Battle of the Games. And I hope that you really enjoy it too. And we'll see you again with this game in the ranking video. We'll see. Bye. Bye.